I'm Julia Sondu, showing you where development is happening. Please come and join us. German CH-53G Super Stallion and personnel exits Mali. The total withdrawal of the United Nations Multidimensional Integrated Stabilization Mission in Mali, MINUSMA, is underway, with Germany being the latest country to pull its assets and personnel from the country. Five CH-53G Super Stallion heavy lift helicopters and personnel from the German Armed Forces have exited Mali after supporting the United Nations mission, MINUSMA, in Gao. The German deployment began in mid-2022 and was part of a larger international effort to stabilize the region and combat terrorism. The helicopters are flown from the Bundeswehr base in Gao to the Malian capital Bamako. From there it goes back to Germany aboard a civilian Antonov AN-124 transport aircraft. The AN-124 transport aircraft cargo hold is large enough to accommodate the Bundeswehr's partially dismantled CH-53 helicopters and when the helicopters have arrived in Germany, they will be reassembled and made available for further flight services says a senior German military officer. The German CH-53G Super Stallions played a vital role in MINUSMA, providing transport and logistics support for UN troops and police. The helicopters also conducted medical evacuations and delivered humanitarian aid to remote areas. This May, German troops started to withdraw from Mali as the mission has been hampered by disputes with the ruling military junta in Bamako and the arrival of Russian forces. The German withdrawal from Mali comes at a time when the country is facing a number of challenges, including political instability, ethnic violence, and an ongoing insurgency. The German government has said that it will continue to support Mali and the UN mission, but that it is time for other countries to step up and contribute more. The withdrawal of the German CH-53G Super Stallions is a significant loss for MINUSMA. The helicopters were a valuable asset to the mission, and their absence will make it more difficult to operate in Mali. Germany, with 1,100 troops, is the biggest Western contingent in the UN mission. In 2019 Germany donated 29 Caspier armoured personnel carriers and other equipment including 4,100 bullet-resistant vests, 4,300 combat boots, and 2,700 ballistic helmets to Mali. Last November, the Malian junta led by Coupist Colonel Asimi Goita denied overflight permission to Western forces currently fighting jihadists in the region. Mali's junta declared that Western militaries including the UK, France, and Germany cannot operate their aircraft and drones in Malian airspace. This ongoing phased withdrawal aligns with the directives of UN Security Council, UNSC, Resolution 2690, which was adopted on June 30, 2023. The resolution explicitly calls for the cessation of MINUSMA operations and mandates a complete withdrawal by December 31, 2023. As the deadline approaches, it is anticipated that a more substantial contingent of MINUSMA staff will depart from Mali. The United Nations mission in Mali, MINUSMA, has begun its exit from the country in accordance with a request made by Malian authorities to leave by December 31st of this year. MINUSMA has lost over 180 of its members to date. To date, 2,680 members of TEHI MINUSMA force and 596 members of the United Nations Police UNPOL, have been repatriated, culminating in a total of 3,276 uniformed personnel departing the mission, said MINUSMA in the statement. MINUSMA has, over time, bid farewell to 81 international staff and 10 United Nations volunteers UNVs. This brings the total number of departed civilian staff to 91, and when combined with the military departures, the grand tally stands at 3,367 MINUSMA personnel having left the mission, the United Nations Multidimensional Integrated Stabilization Mission in Mali, MINUSMA, said. The withdrawal process involves redeploying peacekeepers and essential equipment, as well as the formal restitution of camps that had been established across the nation over the past decade. 
Minisma has successfully closed three camps at Agosagu, Burr, and Goundam. These closures mark a significant step in the mission's withdrawal plan, carried out in coordination with Malian authorities. The return of these sites to the state's civilian authorities is a crucial component of the exit strategy, adhering to UN rules and regulations. Meanwhile, October 4, 2023. Senegalese peacekeepers withdraw from Mali as MINUSMA closure nears. 116 Senegalese peacekeepers bid farewell to Mali, marking their departure from the United Nations UN, peacekeeping mission known as MINUSMA. This exit contributes to the ongoing withdrawal of troops, with the mission set to conclude in December. The departure of the Senegalese contingent occurred late in September, bringing the total number of exiting soldiers to over 3,200. The largest portion of this withdrawal comprises 2,583 troops from troop-contributing countries. Following closely behind are 412 police officers from formed units, along with 184 individual police officers and 97 military staff officers. In total, as of now, 3,276 uniformed personnel, encompassing both military and police, have been withdrawn. This ongoing phased withdrawal aligns with the directives of UN Security Council UNSC, Resolution 2690, which was adopted on June 30, 2023. The resolution explicitly calls for the cessation of MINUSMA operations and mandates a complete withdrawal by December 31, 2023. As the deadline approaches, it is anticipated that a more substantial contingent of MINUSMA staff will depart from Mali. The United Nations mission in Mali, MINUSMA, has begun its exit from the country in accordance with a request made by Malian authorities to leave by December 31st of this year. Exit UN Enter the Wagner Group The UN's 10-year-old mission in Mali is ending. On the 30th of June, the UN Security Council had been expected to extend the mandate of the UN's mission in Mali, MINUSMA, for a further year. On the 16th of June, However, the Malian foreign minister asked the UN to withdraw from the country. Instead of extending the UN's mission, the Security Council's members, headed by France, had to scramble to draft a withdrawal resolution. The withdrawal of the 13,000 soldiers who make up the UN force will be completed by the end of this year. The role of the Wagner Group in Mali. Apropos partner organizations. At the end of 2021, a new actor joined the Malian conflict, namely the Wagner Group. The group is now well known as a key player in the war in Ukraine, but many people are probably less aware of the group's role in several African conflicts. The Wagner Group is present in Mali and, among other things, conducts so-called counter-terrorism operations in partnership with the Malian army. This is the end of our program today, see you on Intervlog same time tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get new video updates. Thank you for watching Intervlog. Thank you.